I'm back for some more scary teacher 3D and today I'm checking out more of the brand new Halloween levels. What is going on TFG squad? My name is Brandon and welcome back to scary teacher 3D. We are back for the Halloween levels like I said. So last week we played bat romance. If you missed that, go back and check it out. Today we're trying a ghostly experience. I think that meant to say ghostly experience, but you know what? Maybe not. Okay, let's make sure this prank literally sucks the life out of ghost tea. Okay, so last week we had vampire tea. This week we have ghost tea. You get the idea. All right, here we go. Okay. Is Misty... Oh, my... Whoa. Okay, Misty's like actually a ghost. Ooh, such power. <laughs> okay. A ghost catching for dummies. Okay. Hey. Hey, I'm not a... Oh, wait, wait. Is she catching dummies or is she the dummy? I think she's the dummy. Okay, so here I am trying to go... Whoa! I did not know there were going to be jump scares. <laughs> Find a way to catch ghost tea. Okay, if you guys missed last week's video, I didn't use a single hint the entire video. I was actually very proud of myself. Let's see if I could do that again. Find a way to catch ghost tea. So the strategy in these new levels is basically walk around the house until you find something new. Because uh, other than that, I don't really know anywhere to start. So Misty's upstairs. Let's go to the kitchen. That's usually where there's some new things hiding. Okay, I have made my way to the kitchen and I do not see anything new. If you guys are as excited for Halloween as I am, don't forget to hit that like button and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel right now. Okay, is there anything in the kitchen... It's not looking- Oh, nope, those are matches. Those are always there. Okay, I'm giving up on the kitchen. I don't think anything is in there, so let's keep- Ooh, this is that book! The Catching Ghost for Dummies! Okay, what does it say? Oh, it's like a story. Okay, so Miss T grabs a gem. I pour some potion. The ghost comes out. And I suck Miss T up with a vacuum. What is this, Ghostbusters? Okay, that was not helpful at all. Oh, but now it's giving me a new hint. Find a jewel to attract the ghost. Okay, at least now I kind of have an idea what I'm supposed to do. So Misty's actually coming downstairs, which is a perfect time for us to go upstairs. Let's look for a jewel. I said it last week, but I love these scary teacher 3D Halloween levels. That's a jewel. That is a jewel. Okay. What? Uh, can I not grab it? This jewel is stuck. Find something to remove it. Can I use the scissors? They're kind of, like, shiny. Come on. Please tell me the scissors will work. Please tell me the scissors will work. No, nope, nope, nope. Definitely not going to work. All right, well, what am I going to need? Oh, son of a nutcracker. I have no idea what I'm supposed to use. Can I use this saw that's right here? I, I, there is no way this is going to work. All right, let's try the saw. Nope, also not gonna work. Alright, I'm 0 for 2 so far. Can I use the meat cleaver? Uh, uh, maybe? Is that- Nope, I'm just opening the window, Brandon. Okay, Miss T is coming upstairs, which is a major problem. It is a major, major problem. Uh, I'm trying to find something that I could- You know what? I'm gonna eat myself out the window. I'm gonna eat myself out the window. Uh, hold on, Brandon. Oh, I could just go down the, the ladder. I feel like that would work a lot better, or I could just fall off the ladder. So let's see. I haven't looked around downstairs. I got an idea. I bet I'm going to need a tool to rip the gem out. And usually most of the tools are in this shed. Let's see if there's something in here that I can use. I don't think a crowbar. I don't think a hammer. Uh, that's a key. Oh, this has been a big fail. Oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Those are cutting. Oh, wait, wait, what are those things? This is- I bet- I bet it's one of those two. I bet it's one of the pliers. Miss T, will you go downstairs? I'm trying to go back upstairs so I can turn you into a ghost and then suck you up with a vacuum. Please go downstairs. Pre I will- I'll give you a, a, a Reese's bar. Okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. Wait, is Reese's a bar? It's more of like a circle. I don't know if that's a bar. Okay, let's go back to the room with the gem, which of course I don't remember where it is, but it's got to be one of these pliers that I got. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I got one of the pliers in my hands. Come on, please work. No, that's the wrong one, Brandon. All right, let's try the other one. Come on. Come on. Here we go. All right, other one is right here. Please tell me. Yes! Yes, I actually got it. Okay, okay. Find the potion to trap ghost tea. The potion? 
Oh, I guess from the book, there was like that little thing that she poured. Also, once again, Miss T thought this was a phenomenal time to walk in place on her hardwood floor. I don't even know how she does that. She is like the greatest dancer in the entire world. All right, so let's start looking for this potion. I have no idea where this potion's gonna be. Let's go room to room and look for it. Okay, I have looked at every room upstairs. Uh, bite me? N no thanks. I'd rather eat, like, you know, candy on Halloween. I I'd much rather eat candy than, you know, a person. That seems illegal. All right, let's go downstairs. I don't... Where am I jumping? Oh, here we go. This is the ladder. So let's go back downstairs. You know what? Maybe it's in the basement. I haven't gone to the basement yet. Or if it's not in the basement, maybe it's in, like, this side uh, table over here. Table? No. What is that thing? What? What is that? I guess I can't pick it up. All right. Well, there's a crowbar. I don't really need that. I'm going to pray that the potion's in the basement because that's really the one area I haven't checked yet. Oh, my gosh. It is so dark. I can't even see. Miss T, do you believe in electricity? I know I know. Francis likes eating garlic. If you missed that last week, Francis was just eating a, a raw clove of garlic for some reason. But apparently, Miss T does not pay her electric bill. That's the potion. That is the potion. Okay, okay. Let's grab it. Wait, I gotta put something else down. No, I didn't want to drop the gem. I wanted to drop the, the pliers. You know what? Let's get rid of the scissors. I don't need those. Uh, how do I throw them? Ah! I hope Miss T didn't hear that sound. All right, where's the gem? I dropped, like, the most important thing in the game. Okay. Pour the potion in the exorcism room? Where the heck is the exorcism room? Okay, Miss T is taking Halloween decorating to a creepy level. So I'm gonna go upstairs, but I'm pretty sure Miss T is up here. I can't tell what room she's in. I'm gonna go over here and hope the exorcism room is over here. No, this is just the game room. Come on, what about this one? Oh, gosh. I forgot about her, like, creepy son that literally follows me <laughs> everywhere I go. I don't know how his neck moves in that manner, but you know what? That's okay. I have a feeling the exorcism room is in the room Miss T is near. I'm pretty sure she's going to be close to the exorcism room. Wait, let's look at the book one more time. Maybe it'll give us a better clue. Okay, so Misty's at the bottom of the stairs. She grabs that. The exorcism room looks like it's right at the bottom of the stairs. But maybe that's not accurate. Maybe that's just for the graphic. I'm not exactly sure. Is it right here at the bottom of the stairs? No, it's not looking like it. Okay, Misty. I think Misty is in this room. I'm going to open it and run. Misty. Oh, there she is. Okay, she's walking in place like some sort of a crazy person. So, you know, we're going to close that door and let her be. Is the exorcism room in here? Maybe it's over here? Yes! Okay, I really hope Misty doesn't wake up. Okay, so what do we do? We pour the potion in the middle, it said. Okay. So far, this is going fantastic. I think I might have beat the level. Okay, so I woke up the creepy hex on the ground. Hopefully, I didn't wake up Miss T. Okay. Nope, Misty's still walking in place like a crazy person. Place the jewel in the center. Find something to catch Ghost T. Wait, what? What does that mean? I thought that was going to be it. Wait, let's go back to our book. Let oh, wait, wait, I don't have to look at the book. It was the, the vacuum, which I saw in the room with the creepy child that was staring at me. That was definitely the vacuum. Okay, wow, Miss T, those are the most glowing jack-o'-lanterns I have ever seen in my life. I'm very proud of you for carving that. Or, or maybe Francis carved it. Okay, this dude gives me the... Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, right now, his head is on backwards. Or maybe it's right way up. Maybe now it's backwards. I, I have no idea. But here's the vac... Oh, there's a lockpick. Maybe I'll need that later. Let's pick up the lockpick. Pick up the darn lockpick. And now let's pick up the darn vacuum. Oh, no! I, no! 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 I literally got my head stuck in a vacuum. Okay, so I got the pliers. I got the potion. This time, let's try not to get sucked up by the evil vacuum. I'm looking for the gem right now. Of course, I can't remember where it is. Is it in here? Nope, not at all, Brandon. I believe this is it. Okay, so let's go over to the pliers. Let's grab the gem. Okay, I'm I'm glad I actually got the right pliers this time. Okay, so let's go back downstairs. Miss T once again thought it was a great time to walk in place, so that is fine. I am not going to argue with that. I believe this is the room. Yes, it is. Okay, so let's take the potion. Let's pour it down. Once again, hopefully this does not wake up Miss T from her walking in place slumber or whatever you want to call it. Okay, now I got to take the gem. Place it in the middle. 
Okay, now it says find something to catch ghost tea. We need to get that vacuum, but I can't get sucked up this time. So I assume I just kind of have to go off to the side. At least that's what I'm hoping. I really hope that there's like not something we have to do. Let's grab it from the side this time. Wait, how am I supposed to get around it? Let's. Oh, what if I unplug it? I bet that's it. I, I had to unplug it. That was it. Now I can grab it. Yes! Oh, I got lucky that time. I was going to try to pick it up from the side. That would not have worked. Oh my gosh. I have never seen that in the game before. Wait for Ghost T to spring the trap? What does that mean? Wait. What? What is that? Wait, let me go to my hints. There's no hints. Maybe that's the end? I've never seen the end of a scary teacher game where it doesn't say, like, run away before Miss T finds you or whatever. I'm just gonna hold my vacuum here and hope that Miss T jumps out the window and falls in my vacuum. Here we go. Go. What? What's that? Okay. Miss T's falling for my curse. Is she? Oh my gosh. I don't even know what I'm looking at right now. Here comes the vacuum. Yes! Yes! It's like a combination of Luigi's Mansion and Ghostbusters. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and check out my other YouTube channel. It's called TFG Vlogs. Please, guys, go over there and subscribe. Do me a favor, and I will see all of you in the next video.